I did my job and yours. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. Geese are in the gang here. It's June 3rd. <coughs> Happy anniversary to my honey. Happy anniversary to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We had a pretty decent stay at this park, except for the only reason we paid to, to stay someplace is I needed some internet access, and the Wi-Fi here sucked. Oh, it sucked. It it really sucked. In fact, it was for the most part it was just unusable. How much did it suck? <laughs> it really sucked. <laughs> But, whatever, we'll just let it roll off the back and go see what, what today brings. It's a new day, it's a new year, and the life of geezer and granny. Dump? Did you need to dump? Yeah, I need to dump. No. Those little cabins are cute, I think. Okay, neat. Goodbye, USA RV Park. Sister Park to Oasis. Did you see that? Uh-uh. Says heading east, visit our sister park, Oasis RV Park. We stayed there, didn't we? Yeah, I don't remember what we thought of it exactly, but I yeah. Think you enjoyed it. You liked it. Oasis. I like most of them. I like this one if they just had oh, the Wi Fi this working. Is, this is probably the nicest park. I mean, as far as kept up and everything, the nicest park we stayed in. Welcome to Arizona. We just got back on the interstate. We uh, we stopped at a at a roadside gotcha souvenir place. A pretty good size. But, and I told you, Lucy likes to shop, so that was kind of interesting. But the highlight there for me was uh, talking with a gentleman there from a, that remembers old school Route 66. And uh, he gave me directions on how to find a little seven mile stretch of the old road down here. He said it's passable. In fact, it's, it's still in pretty good shape. So we're gonna go see if we can find it. That, that would tickle me to at least get a piece of Route 66 in Arizona. Okay. According to uh, to the old boy, this this is some of old 66 right here for about seven miles. So 
We're gonna run down it. Savor its existence. He said there's a rich guys on it. Shield on it. He said there's a lot of ruins down through here, so it'll be kind of a sad trip, but inspiring nonetheless. If, uh, if you decide to take this trip and want to find this little piece of road, uh, we're running west from exit 339 uh, on I-40. Uh, as you can kind of see, probably, it starts off as like a frontage road, but now we're a good half mile from the interstate. I can still see it off to the left, but barely. We're just kind of out the boonies there. I'm not sure where it comes out. Uh, what is this? My gosh, I think we got some wild burrow right here. Oh, okay. No, they're, they're cows. <laughs> what is this? What was that? That was interesting. Oh, it looks like this is the end of the road right here. So I'll be able to tell you. When we get when we get down here, I, I'm not sure what exit we'll be uh, we'll be getting back on, but I'll let you know. Okay, we're getting back on the interstate now. Uh, that was exit 333 back. See the little 333 marker right here. So, that probably was about seven or seven or eight miles down through there. It's a nice little trip. Road's kind of a little bit choppy, but not too bad at all. So, if you want to drive an authentic little piece of 66 in Arizona, there's a good one. Well, we've, we've gotten off the interstate. We're going to take a visit to Petrified Forest National Park. See what we can find here. It's, it's kind of incorporated in the Painted Desert, so maybe we can uh, get some good views of the desert as well. So, on down the road, see what we can find. Okay. We've stopped at the uh, Pet Petrified Forest National Park and Painted Desert Visitor Center. Go in and see what we can, uh, what information we can get. Maybe get a little map of the area so we can get around halfway decent. Okay, found the uh, folks here at the visitor center to be very helpful. Um, they helped me plan a little little tour through the painted desert and petrified forest, and uh, get back on track at the end. Home? So sit back, relax, and enjoy your tour of the painted desert and petrified forest. Honey, we found the painted desert. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my. I hope this little GoPro's getting some of that. This is a park get out photo opportunity right here. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So let's go see what else is here. This is within a quarter of a mile where we came in the park. Okay, we're, we're investigating a little side leg off the trip here into a section of the petrified forest just to have a look and see it. Uh, what's, uh, what's here. There's chunks of petrified wood everywhere right there to the left. Look at how they've been cut with them. <laughs> it's pretty cool here. It's neat, you can drive right up to, to just about anything you want to see. And uh, at least today, there's been plenty of parking for motorhomes. There's every class motorhome there is has been in here. We've seen several examples of a lot of them. So don't be afraid to bring your motorhome to Petrified Forest and paint a desert it's not an issue I don't know if you'll be able to hear any of this audio but there's the overlook of the main petrified forest just chunk of chunks of petrified trees everywhere down in there I'll try to I'll try to get you a look All the way up that hillside over there. It's just thick with chunks of wood, petrified wood. It's very, very cool. I hope I got some of it to share with you. I'm not sure with the wind, but I gave it a shot. On down the road. That was interesting. We're about a half a mile from the uh, park exit and just went through a vehicle inspection station. Um, I suppose they looked to see, make sure you didn't cop any. Uh, samples from the park but uh, just as an interest they didn't even check us we pulled up they just waved us on no big deal we didn't pick up anything anyway well, as we leave the, the national parks getting on west 180 and heading up to Holbrook to pick up route 66 again that was a uh, that was excellent. I mean, that was worth the side trip. I, I really liked it a lot. It, it was uh, on my bucket list to see, to
to see that area at least once in my lifetime. So, scratch another one off my list. Now it's time to get on down the road. We've made a, a brief stop here at Jim Gray's Petrified Wood Company here in Holbrook. But we're going to take a look around here and uh, see what there is. And Classy gets a little break too. Look at her sitting there soaking up the breeze and the uh, shade on her hood. Here's Wild Bill, a fossilized alligator. This is just for display. He's got some little buddies there in the case with him. I won't even begin to try to pronounce what they are. But there's They're just, a, it's pretty interesting. There's a, right there's a dinosaur egg cluster. There's some dinosaur dung right there. Uh, it was kind of a fun little break going in there and checking out all the stuff made out of petrified wood. A little rich for my blood, but it was fun to look at nonetheless. There's them dinosaurs again. Okay, time to find a place to save for the night. So, we're back on the road. Register here. 